illuminate your world, lift up your smile, brighten up your space with engaging, interactive, suspense-filled, controversial, and thought-provoking issues told in the best possible podcast format ever. No censorship, no red lines. Oh, hot, 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 Just hot, hot as you want it. Oh, light it up. Log on to our website, mobile app, and socials at Super FM Benin to listen to the different episodes. Do it! Just do it! Light it up! Light it up as a brainchild of Super 8 to 8.1 FM Benin City. Welcome to another very interesting episode of Light It Up right here across the South South Nigeria. What's going on? What's happening with you? My name is Chuxi, the Fresh Prince of Radio. That's how you probably know me. But I'm just like a normal regular guy. Just chilling and having a great time. You know, I just like to sit down, eat antenna and okra soup. And if you just want to spice it up, just add a very cold water. <laughs> the money seller, basically. That's just it. Anyways, I'm not on the show alone. I have Da Vinci. What's up? What's up? I'm good. And Esther. <laughs> you see that? You see the way I pronounce that name? Eh, star. That is the air that mixed up with the stars. Oh, nice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my toasty. I'm fine. What's up? <laughs> I'm very fine. Hi, my name is... Hi, let me let me do my big my voice. Hi, my name is Chuxi. Uh, okay, I'm Esther. That- <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this one should have used the punchlines. Right? That actually works for some women. I don't know. It's like, you know... No, no, no. I'm not... The one you're thinking, I'm not that kind. So what oh, works for you so then? what works for you? Just keep trying. Oh, wow. I when should it, keep when trying. It, yeah, just keep trying. Fine boy like me. <laughs> 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 Anyways, guys, um, this episode of Light It Up, we're looking at uh, violence, all right? Uh, domestic violence mm-hmm. we're going to try as much as possible as we can to uh, talk about it extensively and provide solutions yeah, and give you certain things you can do to identify and uh, not to cope with it though and to jack bar out of it <laughs> when you see any semblance of it anywhere all right mm-hmm. i will allow the air that makes with the stars all right to tell us something interesting about it so esther you seem to be the one that has got all the statistics is da vinci going first uh, let me okay it a layup let me let me leave the ball then she'll dunk it okay okay let's just start with uh, breaking domestic violence into the root words right yeah violence as we know is any action that causes destruction harm pain or suffering and uh, when someone says something is domestic they mean that thing is related to or is associated with the home and that's regardless of where it actually occurred we're going to see why i said that during the course of this definition domestic violence which people also refer to as domestic abuse or family violence or intimate partner violence is violence or abuse that takes place in a domestic setting such as the marriage and for those folks who cohabit like they're not married yet but they're living together mm. cohabitation we could also describe that as some domestic uh, environment of sort yeah, okay uh, it can take place in the relationship between former spouses as well. You know, people who were together before, but now they're no longer together. We've had cases of some people who they break up with their guy. Mm. And the next day, the guy comes with acid and pours on them, right? Yeah. They already parted ways, but somehow the person who felt jilted sort of comes back to and, and revenge and, yeah. or something, that kind of thing. So we even have cases where this spills over to the children, the siblings, and sometimes the parents. So the domestic violence it goes a great length you know it occurs in different forms okay so prevalent one that people usually think about is uh your physical abuse yeah. Yeah. but you know in my years i've come to realize that that is even the, the, the tertiary yeah uh if we're gonna place that you know yeah. there is emotional and mental mm. yes. and i think what a lot of men use these days is financial yeah there's because yeah that, there's violence also you yeah. know they withhold uh, money from their spouses and all that and True. um just like I've been seeing this series, The Roman Empire, and one of the things that the emperors and the Roman consul at the time used uh, was poverty and yeah. hunger to yeah. keep the people in check because the, the city was growing. Yeah. They were about uh, from 500,000 to 1 million to 4 million. And so they were conquering cities and all of that. And so they used poverty and hunger, you know. It's so that's, yeah, uh, yeah, that's also another form of uh, violence. But l- let me hear from you. Let me get some of your thoughts. Okay, for domestic abuse, like you've said, a lot of persons think like it's just um, limited to physical abuse, but it goes way beyond the physical abuse. It goes beyond a guy eating you in public or something. But now the thing is, a guy could actually beat you up mm. and buy you Gucci glasses to and buy you Gucci glasses to cover the black eyes. Mm. You know, a guy may not even beat you up, 
but insults you in public, embarrasses you in public, yeah. tells you how less of a human you would have been with. Already, him. I think that there's violence here already. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't just like if I are using a guy because I might beating you now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but go ahead, go ahead. I just you know, you nice don't, just pardon me. Most of the things I'll be sharing. Speaking for today, your gender. Yeah, and most okay. of the things I'll be sharing today will be out of experience okay. mm. and even statistically. Wait, a guy slapped you before. <laughs> Oh more. Tell <laughs> really? Chill, chill, chill. He, he, we got to pull up that oh, tell, tell us the person. <laughs> let's let's oh, pull up now. Tell if us. Any guy, if any guy would slap let's me, slide. I would have ten men slap him back. Okay. For that's like that's it. civil war. Ten <laughs> men. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer, we're not we're not saying you should go and do that. So anyways, we'll go ahead. Okay. And this could happen. The guy telling you how less of a human you would have been without him. Mm. Reminding you of how useless you would have been. That is a psychological abuse. And most times, psychological abuse hurts even much more than the physical abuse. Yeah. Like, you see, <laughs> there are a lot of persons bottling up pain in them. And one thing I've noticed is that physical abuse is like the last stage of other forms of abuse. Before the guy lifts his hand to hit you, you guys must have started talking. Mm. He, he probably must have tried other things. And maybe it's either you've gotten used to the things he's tried or they're not working as getting to you as anymore. Then he now gets to Well let me let me jump Let me also abuse. jump in here. I think that statistics is put a very high figure, mm. right? With ladies. But the truth of the matter is like guys are not speaking out. Yeah. For and obvious that's true. For obvious reasons. Yeah, because for obvious reasons. That masculinity is still exactly. very much there, you know. Imagine the guy telling you that he, he, he babes <laughs> laugh out or something. <laughs> Even if guys should speak out, I still think mm. that women has the highest percentage of domestic oh, no, violence. No, no, no doubt, no doubt. Just no okay, doubt. okay. Let me just throw this common example. What people really talk about it. Mm. You know, some girls can be very jealous, mm. right? They see you out with another girl. Yeah, it's very, very possible. That, that girl is a cousin or even someone you're linked to by blood no like no relationship mm. in that regard like extra marital or extra extra whatever yeah. right this is just some pure connection you have with someone yeah and then they see you with the person outside then they go home and just go harm right there was a case i heard of of a girl who saw the guy with a lady and didn't bother to ask who the lady was went home broke the flat screen you know destroyed a couple of things in the house and left the guy came back i didn't even know who did that mm. luckily he had some cctv cameras and, and that's how he found that out. was how he found out we didn't even bat an eyelid over that story because it's something that seems very normal mm. but that's also violence in in, 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 a, in a sense, sense what yeah. about guys who would slap their girlfriends or their wives on the spot now i'm trying to say that we're, we're talking about violence not really being you hitting someone and i think esther it's not a gender thing mm. that's the truth you know i i said it on, on live radio many times a lady that left me because i couldn't beat her can you believe that <laughs> mm. yeah it's true it's true legit we broke up legit because i couldn't beat her some people will tell you if your guy is not beating you he doesn't, he doesn't love, love you. you crazy you know um some time ago we had the first lady live on radio and of course she's very huge now when i talk about the first lady i'm talking of uh, betsy obaseki a uh, first lady of Edo state so she's big on gender-based violence and all that mm. and so she also concurred that see violence is not just a man to woman thing there are also cases of women to men you know and cases of some ladies have turned some guys into monsters mm. you know imagine if my mind wasn't strong enough and i decided to beat that guy and now we're not together so what do you think will happen to the current person and I'm the with thing now? Is, my ex abuse, was always beating me abuse begets abuse right mm. abuse begets abuse anyways uh, we've talked about some of the forms right now let's talk about what you can do right when you see any semblance of it and how to get out of it of course subsequent episode will be i'm pretty sure we'll be able to get into the street and talk to a few persons right but yeah. let me hear from you esther what you can do to jump out of this if you see anyone especially my mind gets here my mouth's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know when you're married it's different yeah. people can't just up and go you know when you're dating you just up and go but so marriage has uh, yes uh, marriage has quite a number of things uh, tied to that sure. you're married for years how do you pick up your life again if you leave this man or you leave this woman and all that look at the case trending now uh, of the bimbo and the ivd guy mm. that's an, just just another s- conversation Entirely. for another day yeah. you know yeah so let's go ahead okay um on average nearly 20 people per minute are physically abused by an intimate partner okay and one in every 15 children are exposed to intimate violence each year. And 90% of these children are eyewitnesses to this violence. Imagine the effect on such children. Just imagine. 
like you live the rest of your life with images of your dad punching your mom. Mm. Yeah. And most times those children grow to become monsters themselves. Not all of them. In fact, that's an excuse most men give. Like my father used to yes. like so don't blame me i'm from a dysfunctional family but mm. then there are some persons who go through hurt and pain and they tell themselves i'll never allow someone else go through this yeah, yeah. but but again see, not everybody is mentally very strong sure because there are things that i would see like for example i don't watch uh, scary movies okay. gory movies mm. anything gory anything scary i don't because i don't if there's an accident i wouldn't go close i don't look at it if i see something or skin i just move so on you don't get it since time. yeah because me um i i i keep pictures very well yeah so if i've seen you somewhere or if i see something if you tell me i might forget if i read it i won't forget yeah right. not everybody's strong uh, mentally you know to be able to handle certain things True. so uh someone can come out from a dysfunctional home a very dire situation yeah. and turn her right yeah another and person can come out from that same situation and become, even worse. And become depressed what and just worse degree. you know yeah, yeah so I, I i agree with you with that 100 uh, percent. yeah and another one is women abused by their intimate partners are more vulnerable to contracting sexually transmitted infections and the reason is due to the first intercourse or prolonged exposure to stress Mm. So talking about sexual abuse now, when the ladies have been forced into um, sexual intercourse with, with their partners, this most times from statistics leads to sexually transmitted infections. And also, um, studies suggest that there is a relationship between intimate partner violence and depression and societal behavior. There is a connection. Yeah, yeah. I think I concur. There's 100%. a strong connection. Yeah, between, there is. Yes, there is. There a lot is. of persons who experience domestic violence, they don't live being normal anymore. Mm -hmm. They just lose a part of themselves that they most times cannot retain. They can't mm. get it back. Yeah. And also, um, physical, mental, sexual, and reproductive health effect have also been linked to this intimate partner violence. Mm. You see, it's it's so important that we enlighten people but on this and also tell them, <laughs> like Chixi said, when to jackpot if you know you can no longer I'm manage telling it. You. So, moving on now, uh, how do you think somebody can jackpot out of this? So, uh, guys, if you're listening to us at the country, jackpot is wrong. <laughs> That's what it means, right? It's it's sad that in some climes, in some places, domestic violence is almost seen as the right of the male partner. Mm. Okay, I don't want to cite like countries, but we all know that in the Middle East, like it's normal for we even have things as extreme as honor killing. Nobody will question you. Like it's enshrined in their local constitution. Mm. So when you have a guy who's brought up in such an environment, you almost feel like it's normal to like abuse your woman. Mm. And, and then they don't do anything about it. And for that reason, it's like the least reported crime in, in those places. But in places where they have legislation to like curb such things, the government also play a part. Because when they take stiff penalties into play and they come down hard on those who have perpetrated domestic violence and all that see that oh, okay um, oh, this is nothing to play with they're pretty much stop uh perpetrating such such well things. well from my own streets the book of the street jack wine yeah <laughs> yeah that's what you do one when someone doesn't respect your opinions and yeah. thoughts that dooms they looming around mm. because every relationship it's supposed to be a partnership you know and uh, of it's course i'm very big at the bible way i'll be christian my guy you know okay. to the bone will not be yeah. beans yeah. you know so but the bible did not categorically tell you that as a man you must lord over your wife mm. yeah. you know it instructed us to love our wives the way Christ, we, Christ loves, loves the church, church yeah. Yeah. and then he said to the woman, "Be submissive." So, um, the, the 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 way I the way I see that is, I would choose who I would um, look. I, I would choose who to love, and so when I make that choice, I would love that person person's regardless point, yeah. of who that person is. Have you noticed and, that being submissive? Mm. actually disarm someone who's who are the tendencies to be of course to be, to be of violent course. Uh, no, 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 no. Ma I, I major, think major, major, major love them. love helps but don't now become very very docile oh, more, let me tell you now what people call love is it's never love <laughs> For some people, love is about sex, genital organs. Yeah. That's what. Uh, so is that the love you're talking about? <laughs> no, 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 that's, no, that's not, no. That's not love. Like when you really love someone. If, for instance, okay, that Please, means so you now nah, you said sorry. You said you were being abused by someone. You did you love the person? No, I, no, I didn't say I was. I said experience. Experience that I would probably share maybe um in the course of this um, this show. Yeah. Something I experienced from my neighbor. I was quite younger then, like very much younger than this right now. But that was when I made the decision that if it gets to the point I can no longer manage it, mm. I would not allow anything to keep me. But not even my children. If I should have children with such a man, mm. okay. I'll leave. So mine, I said, 
um, if your opinions and thoughts are not respected, you know, mm. yeah, it, if it doesn't matter, then if that person doesn't hold you in high esteem, you, whatever you hold in high esteem, it's hard to disregard. Yeah, do you understand? Sure. So, so you need to know your place in people's lives. Yeah, you know, don't just go about as you mean because it, it, it cost me, it cost me, baby. That's and then, and then, lastly, which is uh, probably the best, you know, um, if you're a Christian, Muslim. Um, you should always pray about things. It's mm-hmm. very important. Yeah. I, I pray about people. Why I say you should pray is because see, we all need to believe in something higher than human yes. race, right? And and higher if you power. yeah, you everybody needs that. Even the eighties that say there is no God, mm. they still believe in something. They, they believe, believe there is no God, don't they? That, that's they that, that that in itself it's, <laughs> it's, it's a belief. <laughs> you understand? So um uh, yeah, uh pray, pray about uh certain relationships. Now if we really pray about things, mm. there are mistakes we will not make. Sure, there sure. are mistakes Divine you will not direction. make. Yeah, and also just like Esther said, um, if you grow around domestic violence, you will know it when you see it. Mm-hmm. it uh, you are most likely going to know it when you see it. But the thing is, you get desensitized to because it becomes normalized to you. That's if you if, allow if it. I've seen, if you allow it. Though. If I've seen my dad beat my mom to pulp, did he? I don't. No, no, no. He, he does. He. In fact, I, I don't want to brag, but I've never seen my. I, I've seen my dad shout, like have a shouting match. Yeah. But he has never laid his hands on my mom. Did you but, see? What about I studied you? No. Oh. Did you experience anything like that between your parents? See, no, no, no yo, 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 he not, ju- not that one. You're huge on Christianity. So if I'm, if I'm to extrapolate, I'm like, okay, for someone who has this. Uh, mindset it means it came from someone you probably got it from your parents and mm. then yeah, yeah, for yeah. parents who could instill that i don't think they have so let me just i'm always <laughs> out and i'll go reason now as you will. but it's true shadow i didn't experience that see, yeah, so like i said if i'm used to seeing my dad beat my mom to pop i won't have any issue beating any other lady mm. I mean, my, my body beat my mom now so what is there like you can't can take who it. Are you you can't take if my mom could take it that kind of thing but some people will still come out of such households and be like man i used to hate watching my mom go through that so for that reason i would not like to see someone else you know go through this anyways we will be back again oh so my english we will <laughs> <laughs> anyways i think we can draw the curtains here mm-hmm. and say au revoir uh but before that's my own way of saying au revoir you ever know that's, au revoir. that's french by the way for those who <laughs> <are>. <laughs> uh, before we get out uh, any last words because we're definitely not done with this we'll definitely right? re- um, revisit it's a it very again broad yeah topic, sure yeah so Esther, ladies first. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, for me, domestic violence is not something that you should permit. When you see it, you should not always think you can bottle it up and go through it alone. Try to speak up, seek help. There are NGOs and there are app centers for this purpose, okay? So that's it. Thank okay. You. All right. This is not a comfortable discussion to talk about because it rubs off on my kind. You mm. know, we had, we the guys were mostly involved in this, so... I'm going to say for those guys out there who have been keeping it real, right? Just stay solid. Don't allow your lady to push you to do what you're not supposed to. You can stay strong. Just keep on being non-violent, right? It's the way you were wrapping up and dragging the, the <laughs> other gender into it like, we will not go down low. You go down with us. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much, guys, for listening to this week's episode. We're back again to give you something quite interesting on Light It Up. My name is Chuxi, the first prince of raid, of course, Da Vinci, and yes, the only heir that misses with the star, <laughs> S star. Uh, together, we would definitely come back and give you something interesting. Uh, hit us up across the socials at Super FM Benin. I'm talking Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, uh, Twitch TV, also. We're live there. And also on YouTube at Super FM Benin. We're now, everywhere. please just hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment, and if there's anything you want us to talk about, uh, let us know in the comment section. We'll definitely talk about it again. All right. Until next time, au revoir. Log on to our website, mobile app, and socials at Super FM Benin to listen to the different episodes. Light it up as a brainchild of Super 8 to 8.1 FM Benin City.